Welcome to our brand new YouTube channel. I'm Tay. And I'm Dre. And today we're doing a Get Ready With Us Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Edition. These are our first impressions. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Let's get on into the video. Woo! With MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. I'm like, got a mirror slightly off in the distance. If I sit regular, I can't see. You can move it. Okay. Next, she's gonna prime my like eyelids. Like double prime. I'm just gonna go straight for a paint pot. This is Painterly. In honor of Jeffree Star himself. And just put this I'm on. weird and I prime and then do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Yeah, we do our makeup like totally different. <laughs> like crazy different. So now I'm using the Benefit Goof Brew Pal Brow Pencil in the shade two and then followed up by the Gimme Brow um, Fiber Gel and number two as well. Take some powder and set my eyelid. Next I'm gonna carve out my eyebrows with uh, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Concealer in Tan Light Fair. I'm gonna go straight for my eyeshadow now because I don't do my eyebrows. I like tried to start doing <laughs> them and like I just don't wanna deal with it. So I'm gonna take Tongue Pop and I'm gonna use that as my transition color. Uh, and I'm also gonna use my JS4 brush. I think this is a highlighting brush. Like a lot of other people use it as a, as a highlighting brush, but I like just mess later in my eyeshadow with it. All right, so this just goes transition. I feel like I'm very messy with my eyeshadow and then it pulls together at the end. <laughs> I did this video like last summer on I put it on Facebook about like how to do like a smoky eye and I guess Tommy followed along and she was like it was going so bad and she's like and then I like it got to the point in the video where you're like at this point if you don't look like you have a black eye you're doing it wrong oh. <laughs> and she was like and then I like got more I you know felt a little better I was reassured right add some sh like mascara and some lashes and you're good to go what's your favorite song on khalid's new album um of course i'm gonna tell you saturday nights because that's yeah but the that's only... a bonus track so don't that's count the, the bonus only track. song i listen to okay talk and better like i'm basic oh good like those are the only songs i listen to you gotta listen to the whole thing man. i have it okay i like 21 21 is good I really like Alive and Heaven. They're really like beautiful songs. Well, I'm not trying to listen to some beautiful songs when I'm road tripping. <laughs> trying to listen to some ratchet shit. He is not ratchet. I know. So. <laughs> You're never gonna get that. And it's not the one that was longer before. <laughs> See? Another reason I don't want to do my eyebrows. Well, this never happens to me, so. Sister, I mean twins, I mean sisters, not twins. Jeez, that was hard. <laughs> I'm like James Charles in the building. <laughs> right. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with Prick. This, like, hot red color. As I'm still, oh. She's so much quicker at makeup than I am. <laughs> it takes me forever. Okay. And okay. then I'm just using this blending brush from Unique. Do they call themselves Unique Cosmetics or do they call themselves Unique Products? I don't know. I don't know, but if you want the brush, I'll put my shopping link in the description box. Now that I've carved out my eyebrows, I'm going to put the MAC pa Painterly Pot on top of that to give me more even more of a base that I already have for my eye all right prick let's go 
I like to layer a lot of product. Probably she really does, product. guys. Like she, <laughs> you'll see when she gets to like her base face. I won't even have to say. <laughs> her face is not going anywhere. When I watched the James Charles video last night where he mixes together seven setting powders oh, and it was so matte and he like his face after seven hours did not budge and usually his nose like sweats off like uh -huh. mine does yeah. did not budge Jeez. at all and he didn't have any flashbacks so kind of jealous <laughs> need to go get those seven <laughs> setting powders and that's going to add on another 20 minutes to your That's okay. look. Okay. Now, now I set my lids in place before I put my shadow on. And for that, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in 5. Just the lightest shade from every line. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of that and just dust it over. See, I kind of wish that I was like either like the darkest of darks or the lightest of lights so that I wouldn't have to mess with like picking a shade. Right. I just grabbed the lightest one or the darkest one. That's literally me. I pick the lightest one. <laughs> Always. And sometimes it's still a little too orange for me. So that's great. I want that strong line on the side so we're gonna put some tape Good. I don't like where that tape was as long as they can see your eyeshadow all right that's the important part I'm gonna go back in with tongue pop and just kind of soften out the edges okay so can I build this up here a little bit yeah so for me I'm using tongue pop as my transition shade as well we got my ipsy bag in. Finally. I know. Okay. Now I'm going to... <clears throat> Let's see. Can I grab this real quick? What? This? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to deepen my outer corner. That's too big of a brush. I think I'm going to use... Cherry Soda with the JS5 brush. And put this like on the outer corner. I'm gonna layer. There is no fallout. Holy crap. I think one day I'm just gonna do tongue pop and then just add a shimmer to the lid and be done. One day. But today's not the day. <laughs> then next I'm going to use Fresh Meat. I don't know where, just wherever. I hate that one side always turns out different than the other side. Just the way you're like, what hand is dominant to you, you know? Right. I'm going to go in with Fresh Meat too, just to deepen up the outer corner a little bit the same brush yeah I use the same brush for my whole entire eyeshadow look until I get to the lid <laughs> so me and Andrea are very different because my I'm always glam like I don't know anything different than glam and she's always very softer with her makeup yeah except for this uh. <laughs> I'm like naked palette every day that is me. I feel like, and in then the I'm James Charles palette every day. <laughs> yeah, I feel like in the summertime I like get more adventurous with like colors, but honey, you didn't summertime yet. I know, but in honor of blood sugar and the restock, yeah, I'm using my lid. I'm gonna use candy floss. So I'm also the, using glitter. Is that the pink one? Yes. Oh. Okay. See, that's what I mean by super glam. I'm adding glitter. Mm -hmm. For I'm what reason? Who knows? Tongue. Sorry if the camera angle is different. We lost storage. <laughs> so, so when I do my eyes, I do everything randomly. 
So next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone real quick, and I'm going to go in with my Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio, and I'm going to use the shade, let me see, Glazed Donut. I love this palette. I got it for my the 21 Days of Beauty, and I love it. No, you didn't. Remember? It well, was sold out. It was, I was supposed to get it. She but... was supposed to get it, but she bought it full price anyway, because the store that we go to got the shipment and put it out before the 21 Days of Beauty. So, that's cool. And next, I just wet my um, brush with my All Nighter Setting Spray real quick, and I'm gonna pop this Candy Floss in my lid. I got painterly on my freaking crease color. Let's go back in, back over there. See, look, it's like, it's like super pink. Yeah, it doesn't, like, it's not like bright like you want it to be, I feel like. Why not? I thought it was just gonna be like a shimmer. I'll just go in with the same shade I put on my brow bone. <laughs> I'm gonna try sweetener. Let me swatch it. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. The way that shines in the mirror. Oh, wow. We're gonna go with sweetener. Oh, well, now I can't just layer that. I have to put on candy floss first, or else I don't want this on. Now I'm gonna do my eyeliner in the Steel Estate All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. Hopefully this goes great. It always goes great for you. I'm still wearing my tape, so I'm just gonna follow the tape line. Yeah. Um, what should I use on my brow bone? Um, I'm just gonna use from here the Becca Jacqueline Hill. This is like so old, but I'm gonna use pearl. Now I'm gonna go into my face before I do eyeliner and mascara because I'm gonna try to like cut this here with concealer. I use Too Faced Born This Way. This is like my all time favorite. Um, I use it in the shade Warm Beige. It's like two and a half bumps to start and that usually does my whole face, but I might want just a little bit more today with this look. We'll see. Probably not, though. I think you jinxed me. Why? <laughs> not going great over here. <laughs> Maybe it'll look better when I take off my... No, but look at the top. Oh. Is she thick? You wear eyelashes she anyway. You can't. You won't thick. be able to see it at all. We'll have to make them even. Alrighty. Next, I'm going to put some glitter liner in the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Distortion Liner. And I just pop this right over my black wing. MAC Pro Longwear. This is NC20. This, they changed, like, their shades or something. Because this is, like, way lighter than the NC20 that I had before. But, oh, well, we make it work. Now I need to go back in with my Stila eyeliner and make that line better. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and put some mascara on my eyelashes before I put on my lashes. And I, this is my go-to, this is my, this is the only mascara I use. And it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm going to... Put my lashes on. I always use Lily lashes in the style Miami. I'm not gonna show them to you because they're a little worn. <laughs> when she gets a fresh set, she'll show you. And everybody knows what they look like. So if you need to, I mean, refer to Manny anyway. I feel like he's really and James known. Charles. Yeah. I'm going to set my face with the Too Faced 
what is it called? Ethereal setting powder. Take my same sponge and do a soft bake there. See, she's already done with her make her face makeup. I haven't even started my face makeup yet. That's how slow I am. No, it's I don't do eyebrows. That's like a big part of it is eyebrows. And to adhere my lashes, I use the Duo Lash Glue. That's one of my favorites. That's one's like, can I speak? No. <laughs> that one is, I think it's like the best lash glue because I've tried like the Duo, like regular one that's in like the tube that's black. And I feel like it never dries down. Maybe mine's just old now but it like never dries down and that stuff dries super fast and once it's down it's down it doesn't lift okay, there's one lash all complete we're getting getting there brush it off done that was really fast yeah pop it on now what we've all been waiting for okay so now i'm doing my foundation and i use this brush i think this is a bh brush and i really like it i i don't usually use brushes for my foundation but i've started using this one and i really like it um and my foundation i use is the fit me the maybelline fit me um matte and poreless in the shade 102 because i'm pale i'm going to bronze contour i don't do like a super sharp contour i feel um i use the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer this brush is i got it in my ipsy it's the chic blush brush i don't know i haven't bought this bronzer since it was in this packaging i like this one over this one but the shimmery ones of these have like a uh, like a metallic yes this case is really pretty i'm gonna have to buy that one just to have that pretty packaging and then i just kind of do like swirly motions upwards that's done i'm gonna use my beauty blender real quick to just buff it out real quick I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade five, which is ivory. I ordered the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. Did you? And setting powder. Yeah, I'm really excited about mm. it, guys. See, this is too yellowy for me. Yeah, and that's the lightest one? Yeah. Or is that the lightest one that was at the store that time? No, this is the lightest one I have. Mm -mm. I usually use 10, and 10 works really well for me. But the last couple times I've bought it, it's been a little orangey. And usually I blend in, or I rub my concealer in with my fingers. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. Oh. Why not? <coughs> this is a get ready with me. Oh, because everybody's going to be like, gross. Why is she using her fingers? At least it's your face. All right. Okay. It just gives me way better coverage than anything else. With a BH dual fiber brush, I'm gonna use Mac Pinch Me Blush. And since I have such a round face, I like to put everything back here to try to pull it back. So I try not to put blush on like the apples of my cheeks. We're, cre we're creating, we're creating illusions. I'm not, I just slap it on and hope it looks good. I'm going to highlight 
and I like I'm gonna just swirl every single one of these together um, with the JS2 brush I like a soft natural highlight not not like mine not blinding to the gods okay so now i'm gonna set my face real quick just all over um with the same loose powder that i used before to set my eyelids i'm doing my wing with the stila eyeliner every time i do my makeup i get powder everywhere so don't mind me We're apparently mowing the lawn right now. <laughs> I think they're leaf blooming or something. Oh my gosh. Of course. So now I'm going to contour it with this cool little brush. I don't know where I got it, but I have a bunch of them that are this color and shape. I'm going to bronze my face with the Too Faced bronze Chocolate Soleil. And this is the Chocolate Gold. It's a little too dark for me, but that's okay. Hello, yes, we are filming a video. Go away good as it's gonna get so we're just gonna go with it i put too much bronzer on <sighs> that doesn't surprise me though when do i not put too much bronzer on okay i'm just gonna layer on as i continue to dip my brush back in <laughs> oh, goodness. all the shades i used to my lower lash line now i'm gonna buff it out with this wet and wild flat top brush. I know that's not what it's used for, but that's what I'm using it for to just blend out these lines a little bit. Okay, and now I go in with more loose powder to set that bake in play, or set, you know. She's baking right now. And they're never even, so I don't know if I, like, if my face is just not even, or if I just really am not great at this. Probably the second one. Even today! <gasps> oh! Swift, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I'm gonna let that sit for quite the- oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> Y'all, this is so- <laughs> Another angle change because <laughs> apparently my I have too much storage on my phone. Anyway, Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And I'm gonna blush with the um I actually don't even know what this is. I got it from my mother-in-law as well. The Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. It's pretty. Yes, and my favorite shade I hit pan on, so I'm very upset about it. So I kind of like try and get some, and then I use some of that one. This mascara doesn't seem like anything special when you first put it on. But like that second coat is amazing. I'm going to highlight my my face with the same Ofra Nikki Tutorials Um highlighting palette and I'm still going to be using the middle shade glazed donut. I feel like that screams me. I always try and be a glazed donut. Sprayed a little bit with setting spray and this is the SL Miss Glam Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty. I love this brush. Doesn't sound like it's a highlighting brush but that that's okay. <laughs> oh yeah and I'm opposite of Andrea I like to glow to the gods oh there yes I usually don't do this but I'm gonna um, put eyeshadow on my bottom lashes because I think it'll look good with this makeup look that I'm I feel like with like crazy looks like this, you almost have to balance it out a little bit. Or not crazy looks, but you know, really bright colors. I think I'm done. What else do I need? 
Oh no, I want to make. I feel like my inner corner is the only place where I like really want my eyeshadow to pop. I forgot to highlight my inner corner while I was there. <laughs> so let's do that. Ooh, jeez. Mm -hmm. This is shade Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette. This one's nice and bright. My inner corner highlight is turning pink. Now I'm gonna do my waterline real quick here. It's done. I'm ready for the day. And for that, I used the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I wait till the very last second to wipe off my bake before I set my face. So, what do I do now? No, nope. I lied. I have to wipe it off because I have to do my mascara. And my lipstick. Oh, and for wiping off my bacon, I, veiling as Andrea calls it, I guess. No, I'm I don't call it that. I learned that from a Jeffree Star video. Uh, who? I don't know, but I use the... Lipstick lip Nick. That's who. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. And I just use this big fluffy brush and just swirl it around and just wipe off my bake and blend everything together. I was like, I am not about to become poor. <laughs> I did not trademark that. What? Well, she didn't trademark it, but that's what she told me it was called because I don't know a lot. Yeah. I introduced her to it. I don't do it, but... But I, I do. About it. <laughs> I feel like if I wore like a like a bunch more makeup on my face, I would do it. But I always thought, like when I was like growing up and like in high school doing my makeup, I always thought, wow, I wear a lot of makeup. And I thought like I wore a lot of makeup until I met Taylor. <laughs> and I was like, damn, it takes you that long to get ready? You now I'm that? just using my big and... Big and sexy girl. My better than sex mascara to blend my lashes together and do my lower lashes. I feel like work was taking over your head right there for a yeah, second. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> and then before I set my face, because I'm finally done, I am going to be using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip in Jeffree Who. This is one of my favorite lipsticks that I own. I just got it not that long ago. That's what it looks like. And this is the very pretty component. It's very cute. I love it. Now to set my face, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And there we have it. So overall, that palette is really good. The shadows blended out nicely. They have really good pigments. I love all the colors of it. Yeah. I feel like it's a good... Uh, well, let me look at it. Pull I know, her I up like... again. Pull her up again. I feel like it's a good palette for... Because there's still like a lot of like neutral looks that you can use. But I think it's a good palette for like people who just want to get into like experimenting with color. Because you can throw in like some of these shades like on the bottom right corner of it that are easy to work with and they're not like crazy bright vivid colors but they're enough to experiment it's awesome i really like so it. stay tuned for thirsty first impression and alien alien that's which gonna be so fun alien's gonna be fun because i feel like <laughs> neither of us use no. any of any shades like that yeah. so we're really gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. experimenting yeah. we have all of our social medias at the end there will be an end clip and slide where you can find all of our social medias we'll also link them down below yes we also have an instagram that we're gonna try and keep up to date we're gonna upload a lot yes um hopefully we can i mean our plan is today's what tuesday we're trying to up or we're trying to do videos all this week on tuesday 
Wednesday and Thursday. So hopefully we have a lot of videos. I don't know. We might like upload maybe like twice a week. Oh. Like this video and we'll keep uploading. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep uploading anyways. But Of course. Even if nobody watches, we'll upload. <laughs> Somebody will one day. So yeah. Like it. Comment. Any questions? Any like advice? Um, subscribe if you... Definitely do that one. Yeah. yeah subscribe. <laughs> well... Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you Thank enjoyed you. our Get Ready With Us um, Blood Sugar Edition. Like we said, there's going to be an alien and a thirsty coming real soon. So stay tuned. Keep a lookout for that one. Bye. Bye.